How to open a bottle of champagne with a spoon. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Any hooked up soldier with a sword can open a bottle of champagne using the art of sabrage, but it takes true poise and style to do so with a mere spoon. Luckily, we are under the careful supervision of Captain Rupert Campbell Jones of the Highlanders, accomplished in many areas, including spoonmanship. Step one, you will need a bottle of chilled champagne, an ice bucket and napkin, a spoon, champagne glasses, and a pretty young lady to impress. Step two, prepare the champagne. Make sure you use chilled champagne that has not been shaken. Top tip, unless you're loaded, you may want to practice on a cheap bottle of champagne or carver before moving on to your favorite vintage. Captain Campbell Jones is an expert, so he doesn't have to. Take the bottle from the ice bucket and remove the moisture with a napkin. Holding the bottle firmly, peel away the foil and carefully remove the cage. Step three, locate the crease. The spoon will only work once you've located the bottle's weakest point. It's the seam that joins the two halves of the bottle together and is at its weakest where it meets the lip. This is where you need to strike. Step four, select your weapon. We're going to use a silver spoon, but you can use anything from a wooden cooking spoon to a ladle. Step five, take aim. The cork in the top of the bottle will fly off with quite some force, so choose your trajectory carefully and never point the top of the bottle at your audience. Step six, spoon at the ready. Hold the bottle firmly and parallel to the floor. Grip the spoon by the handle and place it horizontally against the neck of the bottle. Make sure the blade is at a right angle with the neck so that as much of its surface will hit the lip as possible. Step seven, fire. Slide the spoon along the bottle to get a feel for the movement. When you're ready and in one firm, fluid movement, slide the blade up the bottle's neck so it connects with the lip at the point of the crease. The cork on the top of the bottle should fly out. Step eight, spill. Allow some champagne to gush out before you return it to the vertical position so that any shards of glass are washed away. Step nine, pour. All of the glass should have been removed, but after you have poured the champagne, hold it up to the light to check for any stray pieces. Do not touch the top of the bottle. There may well be some sharp edges. Chin-chin.